guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Pink Lady, and today we're playing a brand new game that just came out like a few weeks ago, as I saw on Steam, and this is this game will be on Steam, um, but it's called Monster Prom, I saw another YouTuber play this game, I kind of watched to see what it was all about, and it looks like fun, and I'm so excited because, yes, I did go to prom, I went to two, kind of like two proms, I went as a junior in high school and a senior, I don't know how much, how many high schools actually do that, but my high school did that, but on my senior year, my prom was awesome because I took somebody with some people with disabilities. So I have no regrets on that prom. That prom was the awestingest prom ever. But I never really had a date. So we're going to do this monster prom and see if I can get a date. And we'll see if we'll make up for that one time I didn't have a date for prom. And you know what? Date goes wrong with being a monster. And also, you guys can see down here, you can play online with some friends. And hopefully, if this goes very, very well, I hope I get friends to play with me. So, let's get it to play the Monster Prom. I love the music. It's a cool, like, I feel like a beauty. Ah, see? I could see you guys can play up to four players on this game. So, hopefully, I can get some of my friends to download the game and we can play. Maybe. We'll see. But we the first single so we can get going. Um, you got the short game or you got the full game. You can play around 60 minutes of this or you can play 30 minutes. Well, I'm going to start out with 30 minutes. But if you guys like to see around 60, let me know down in the comments to see what's going on. But we're going to play the short game. Ah, uh, spooky high school. Sweetest years of our lives. Most they did. That can be Yes. Yeah. Back when we were young and unafraid. Some of us were unafraid. Um, sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. And that's the agreeable even for today's game as a kid in high school. We were all on a wild journey to discover who we really were. I still don't know who I am, and I have been out of school for over 10 years, guys. That's kind of sad. All right, guys, we got a chance to ch check out who we want to be. We could either be the yellow dude, which is yellow or Oz, or we could be red and be Amira, the little fire girl. We could be green and be Brian, or we could be blue or Flash Vicky. All right. I'm feeling, let's see, who am I feeling? Who am I going to be, guys? I want to either be a sassy fire girl or be more of like your little cute little student council type person. Let's go with Blue. And we'll go with her as Vicky. And she's a sheep. So, okay. <laughs> let's go! Like, oh my god! And we have yet to experience this ultimate challenge. The monster crumb. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of our one of our six most charismatic classmates, Sergeant Pat. Oh. <laughs> Huzzah! We got Miranda Velvet, not Tang. Sweet mermaid princess who was cute as she was genocidal. That's Bachelorette number one. <laughs> We're gonna play the Bachelor, like almost. I'm gonna give a rose to the special someone. And we got Damon Nuffey, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and love. Fire. Bachelor number one. I'm gonna go with the, the Bachelorette, but yeah. You get my draft. And we got Scott Howe, 21, a rare old athlete, athlete with comp with bleh, who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Aw, oh, Scott, our bachelor, bachelor number two. He looks so much fun. He looks so happy. Then we have Liam de la Corte, with his age, he, he's like probably 400. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. 
a little bit, a little bit. And he looks, yeah, let's go with it. Uh, yay, Polly guys, Polly, Polly guys. 22, a party ghost with an exceedable hunger for all the wrong things, which is our gullible person. Yeah, she looks like that kind of a person. And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean self-made gorgon with a merciless of business. Like, she's like, what the heck, why am I here? I am not meant to be here. But, there's our bachelor and bachelorettes that we'll have to get to know. It was clear. It had to be one of them. Ooh, that is the question. We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, daunting, we had only three weeks to woo them and conquer their hearts. Dang, we're doing all that in three weeks. Dang, it took me for years to even just get that far. It could be the date, I think. Right? But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Alright, Oh! Jimmy Wolf! Welcome to Monster Pump's stupidest pop quiz ever! I like how that goes. Stupidest pop quiz. I think most quizzes need to start being that way. All mines are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. They're rotten to the core, they're rotten to the core. Oh, wait. Whoop! Wrong movie. Or at least wrong game. Wrong anything? Worry no more, we are using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of bad deviant sicko you really are. I gotta do really. We'll see how sicko I am, guys. Monster Palm's stupidest pop quiz ever, TM, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. You know, I really don't take most of these quizzes anyway in magazines, so this might be interesting, guys. Because I don't believe in them. They, this way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true self. Really? I don't think it's going to make it, like, true self, guys. Let's start! Yay, I'm first started. Which, um, which god do you pray to each night before sleeping? I don't want to answer that in real life, but okay. Um, praying is for fools. I took compromising pics of a god molesting a tree, and now I blackmailed him for whatever I want. A lot more effective. Wow. Oh, I pray to all kinds of gods. I have this business for people ma paying me to deliver their prayers every night. <laughs> I even started to look for a Chinese factory to outsource the prayers. <laughs> wow. Praying is kind of lame. I have a group text set up with some deities. Dionysus, Fastus, Loki, coolest cats in town. Ooh, Loki. If I know one of my friends that likes Tom Hill, then it is Loki. Right there. Oh, well, I guess I'm playing, playing, yeah. I didn't mean to click, but yeah, I guess I'm doing that. I'm playing to Loki. I have them all in group text, you know, I just chat with them. School is outdated and lame. We need a new school subject. ASAP. Ooh, this is pretty interesting. Critical thought. I mean, damn, this country could really use a subject like that in schools. Okay. How to correctly punch a crocodile without terrible consequences. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to try to punch a crocodile and have no consequences against it. Turning people into your puppets through emotional warfare and deception 101. I think that's a bit of a so, I kind of think I want to go with a crocodile punching without consequences. <laughs> Sounds bad. I'm so bold. Yes, I am bold. What would your, what would be your dream first date? Hmm, probably not what I would think. A wild party in international waters. I can go with that. Crime. Ooh. Sweaty and manly wrestling match. I would enjoy that, but I don't know how, I think I would kind of be weirded out if somebody else was liking that. Um, a lovely walk in the forest after rescuing your date from a dragon. Yes, I, I rescued you from the, the, the mean dragon. 
a professional meeting where you charm your date with some astonishing business advice. Yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> Whatever. An art exhibition experimental enough to give you a seizure. Experimental enough to give you a seizure. Yeah, I see people with seizures. I don't think I want to see that. But I think I want to do a wild party in international waters. Ooh, we got the goosey girl. Oh, Polygon's the name of Polygon? Who knows? Alright, guys. <laughs> Let's go! Like, I'm so excited to go have a date! Um, so, yeah, week one of the morning. We got our stuff over here. We have Smart, which have seven right now. We have Boldness, which is six. Creativity is three. Ooh, we need to get a creativity up, guys. Okay, hey, I need some creativity here. Um, Charm is at seven. Fun is at five. And Money is at five. So. Oh, I see. I just now realized this. If I look at this thing where I put money, it tells me, like, in all these other places where it would be good to do the money. Or where I want to have fun. Or where's my charm. All that. It, it just tells you all these awesome places. But, since we want creativity, let's go to the auditorium. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have decided to give you figurative oral sex. If I didn't say figurative, you know how wrong that could be if I like, was in high school? I mean... But... More me. I don't know. <laughs> Your performance is intense and inspiring. Okay, I look so stupid right now. What is up with that face? What is up with your face? You look tall! <laughs> It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Well, that's a good thing for me, I guess. You gain two creativity. Yay, creativity! Scott and Polly pull you aside, one of them holding each of your arms. Whatever's going on, it's serious. And there has no, no life form whatsoever. She's a head floating. Whoa, hey bro, what's up bro? We need your help, bro. Bro. I'm a bro, guys. I'm always a bro. Don't know why. The midterm for AP jump scares is coming up tomorrow and we're so unprepared. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do with you with that. We tried everything we could think of to get ready. I rolled up the textbook and smoked it. <laughs> We've got a little doggy right here on our hands, guys. <laughs> she rolled up the How can you roll up the textbook? So how clever? I'm assuming. Unless you okay. And I ate my homework. <laughs> my dog ate my homework. Sorry, teacher. Quite literally, I ate my own homework. That would be something you to tell a teacher. But nothing worked. We've only got one option left. Oh, which one of your options, Polly? We've got to cheat, bro. We need. We just need to figure out how to do it without messing with the messing with the teacher. Kids, don't cheat. Just, just do what you do. Don't be like these dum dums over here. Or with messing with the teacher. Either way, if you can help us, we'd be super grateful. Like, okay. That's all the incentive you need. You hook them up with your ultimate cheating technique. Oh, what's my, my, my ultimate cheating technique? Just take the test like normal, then use the time machine to go back and change your answers. Oh, there's time machines. Or write all the answers on the teacher's face. They'll never see them there. And for one question, how would you get it on the teacher's face in the first place without knowing? Um, I like the time machine one because I'm just, I want to be excited for a time machine to be, be you know. Ha! See, I told you Vicky would have a time machine. I want a time machine? Dang, I would If I knew that, I would have used that a lot lately. Polly reluctantly hands got $5. <laughs> I 
I was upset at that. Really? Damn, Scott, you are really good at guessing when people have time machines. I mean, what is okay. I guess we'll just have just got an incredible sense of timing. <laughs> Mm, really good, honey. Really good. Now, come on. Let's grab this time machine and go screw up casu casualties. Or casualties. I think. Oh, I don't think I want to put her in the time machine, guys. I think it's good. You were going to use that time machine to kill monster Hitler, but this seems about as important. You gain 2 plus boldness and 1 plus 5. Yay! No one to love you, the monster Hitler. But, I guess I have to help friends first. Friends come first, so... Got some boldness, yay 2 plus for me, and my fun went up, so yay! Creativity is up too, guys. We're gonna do great. Alrighty, week one, we're at noon now. <laughs> Let's go! Who should we sit with, guys? Um... I found out this this girl right here, the cat little lady, is the um the store. I found that out. Um, but maybe we should go with who are you? You're different. Are you Nah, really? Nah. Who are you? who are you? I don't know you either. I know these new characters. Don't give me characters I don't know. Um Let's go talk over here. You find Vera sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food. As usual, Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table and also some organs. Yum, I want some organs for lunch. Hmm, not bad. Oh, she said it herself. I'm sorry. Hmm, not bad, but I prefer to exert a little less effort for my income. A dejected swamp creature slumps over to the table and adds some money to Vera's pile. Oh, just there. Give me money. I want money. Give me some money. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me to get me to stop punching them. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. I want to punch you. But people give me money just to make me stop. You're know, like, I don't give two crap about the money. And this is what people throw at me to keep me from revealing what kind of a porn they're into. <laughs> I'm like, super not let me back know you at all. But I agree, the money is only secondary. The frowns on their faces are their own re on their own reward. Still, I'm always looking to improve efficiency. Dang, Vera. Have you tried developing business contacts in hell? Your victims will even be more terrified if they know death won't save them. <laughs> yes. I'm getting into the bad boy. Yeah, but that doesn't work on the undead. For those, you need a priest. Wow, guys, you're getting really good here. A priest? You know how my family feels about priests. Oh yeah, demons don't like priests. Just a little known fact, guys, if you guys don't know that. Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people one at a time. There's got to be a way to terrorize everybody in the cafeteria at once. And there it is. Well, okay. And make money at the same time. I'm sure there is. There is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. We're learning capitalism, guys. Set the building on fire and charge on charge an exit fee. <laughs> or trick everyone in the cafeteria into having an orgy to film it. Blackmail in bulk. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I don't know what to choose. But I think I'm gonna go with set the building on fire and charge for an XP. I'm surprised you didn't think of that, Damien. Damien? Where'd you go? Hey, I'm back. I go I was just setting the building on fire real quick. Did I miss anything? What about the rest of the plan? There was a plan? Not anymore. Damien, immune to fire as he is, continues doing exactly what he was doing before the fire, beating people up for their money and organs. Okay, guys. Huh. Well, that was interesting of a lunch. 
Okay, let's go. Mm, the cat is in the auditorium. Let's go to the outdoors. That day during recess. Do you have recess in high school? I don't remember having recess, but okay. We start a half hour raid that just goes fully crazy. Yes, yes, I will totally raid. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Well, I never had that happen, but okay. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Yeah, I don't care if I'm drugged or whatever. I'm still gonna party. You a gang, plus two fun. Dang, my fun is gonna go up, guys. I'm gonna have too much fun. You notice Scott and Damien waving their phones in each other's faces and decide to take a look. Okay. As you get closer, you realize they're they're discussing poke, Pokemon poke Pokemon's go. <laughs> Pokemon's go instead of Pokemon go. What about Pokemon's go? The mobile game based on the hit television show Pocket Humans. <laughs> I just love this, guys. <laughs> I love the little references, the side references that make it more into like monster stuff. Uh, awesome, bro. Whoa, you got a Walter Jacobs? Those are so rare. <gasps> oh, it's that, you guys. You guys are all pushed on now to these monsters. So, yeah. <laughs> you bet your ass I do. And check it out. His fiscal responsibility stat is 11. He's a fucking beast at doing his exes. Imagine guys Pokemon about doing taxes. That's a big old thing instead of their freaking what attack they have. Who knew, guys? I heard he is, he's lactose intolerant, though. <laughs> ha, yeah. I feed him nothing but cheese pizza to fuck with him. He hates it. <laughs> That's not very nice. I'm super nice to my Leslie Dunbar. I don't know if these are supposed to be really actually real people. If you guys get that, let me know down in the comments. But I have no idea if these are actually, like, supposed to be a parody of a real person, a real celebrity's name. Fuck you. You've got Leslie DeBar, the queen of insurance liability management. Obviously, we're going by with her, her, her freaking job, I'm guessing. Yeah, I had to trade two Mindy Babcock and a Jared Fogle <laughs> to get your <laughs> It was so worth it. Jared Fogel. I know Jared Fogel. Uh, Bendy. Is that? Oh, I, I think I kind of know, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know Jared Fogel, and that's pretty bad. That's nothing. You got a Pokemon so rare, it'll send them both into shock. You whip out your phone and show them your. Oh, who does? What? Winslow Jibs. Fiscal responsibility 14, armor class 20, loving owner of a speedboat and several dogs. Scabs for car, sex murderer. That's a sex murderer. <laughs> we'll go scabs for car. Ooh, yes, so bold. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't even know they made Pokemans like this. What type of is this? Criminal type? Why the fuck did nobody tell me this was in the game? Sorry, Damien. I will tell you the next time I did something. Whoa, Damien, calm down. You're shaking your phone and it's upsetting Walter Jacobs. So, so are these Pokemon people are kind of like Tamagotchi things. You actually have to feed them and do something with them. That's what it sounds like to me. Fuck Walter Jacobs. I'm getting myself a scab for the car and he's going to murder all my other Pokemans. Yo, I offer to trade you my whole roster for that mean son of a bitch, but all my Pokemans are obviously lame as hell. And that was pretty lame. Why don't why do you think I'm up here all the time? <laughs> so bored being down in Daddy's section or Daddy's lair. Tell you what, I'll beat up the loser of your choice of free of charge if you hook me up with that mighty factor. Mm, this is, you know, a little kind of... This is just clever, guys. This is not meant for children. Why not? You never know when a free beatdown might come in handy. You lose one scout of the car, but you gain two creativity and plus one boldness. Yes? Yes? 
I might have to keep working on Damien, guys. We might go with the bad boy. Uh, week two in the morning. Let's see what we have. Where are we going to go now, guys? <laughs> Let's go. I'm so excited. Um, we've been to the auditorium. We've been out kind of outdoors. Let's go to... Let's go to class for right now. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Yes, guys. Respect your elders. I wasn't here for this. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. I think it's all high schools that you at least have to have the act your academic thing to be up there. You gave plus two smart. Yay! I'm smart uh. Oh, what's that? Later, you see Damien packing a bag. What are you doing, Damien? I'm going away for the weekend. Hey, let's go away. Come on. To detention. I have puppy detention again. Really? I'm sad. I'll go to detention with you. Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with booby traps that poured selfie piss off. Selfie piss all over whoever opened it. Wow. These pranks are pretty damn good. I mean, I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Well, that's a first for you, Damien. You didn't say anything on fire. Let me spill the tea. This school is strict as fuck. Yes, it is, obviously, to you. Anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond fucking the tea. <laughs> do it. Do it. Just fucking do it. Do it. God damn, I'm just like, do it. <laughs> Cross species, economic, and social barriers to make lifelong friends with a diverse group of students in detention and find out through silly dancing that you're not so different after all. I will go, I will help you this. Damn, why didn't I think of that? Yeah, why didn't you do You're supposed to be the Victorian statue. I mean, I just did, but I didn't consider it as a serious option. <laughs> Try to save yourself there. Dude, give me detention. True. I could do anything. Make a bonfire out of the desk. Jerk off it with a I love this character. I love Damien. No. No. <laughs> and I'll just skip detention forever and wreck as much havoc as I want. For pure havoc. Wow. Well, you may have created a monster, but at least he's your, he's your monster. You get plus two, plus two smart and plus one boldness. We're gonna get there, you guys, and we're gonna work hard on this. Well, I took it the wrong way on hard. Alright guys, we tuned dude. We're working on Davia guys. We're getting there. <laughs> Let's go! Who do you want to come to? Who are you? Alright, we're going over here. You arrived at the chosen table to fight Davia, dejectedly hacking a ball of mashed potatoes while Polly sadly passes her hand through the safe. Seriously? What do we have to do to get food fight started in this cafeteria? Oh, since I can't get a food fight. I also don't, do not know. I tried throwing potatoes at people and yelling food fight, but I think everyone's too scared of me to fight. <laughs> and I can't throw any food because of my stupid ghost hands. Plates, mirrors, antique furniture, sure, but not, but not food. We need to go into other, you can go into furniture, but you can't still throw food. There's got to be a way to provoke a food war. My dad's always telling me to be more political. <laughs> Let's be political. Ooh, I just don't feel like, ooh. Yeah, we're not going to go there. But we're not political. Your strength is hitting things, and my strength is being unbelievably hot at all the time. Oh, there you go. Stand up. You're, you're hot all the time. Well, now I mean, you're stuck the way you are for who knows how long. Unbelievably hot, that is. We'll set the cafeteria on with fire. Yes, you and your fire. Light it up, 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 light it up, 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 up. Wait, no, that's not a solution. That's just arson. Why do I always jump straight to arson? Because you're you grew up in fire, honey. That's why. You didn't grow up in, in that. 
It's hard to watch them struggle through this by themselves, so you step in with an idea of your own. Wars are fought over scarce resources. Steal everybody's food and put it in a pile. They ought, that ought to do it. Hey, Polly, you know how the Greeks fought a whole war over Helen of Troy's face? Flash the cafeteria. I'm sorry, we're gonna get into gaming and pants, so we're not gonna get into Polly, sorry. Not like to say I'm not against, I'm not against anything, I'm just saying what's more we're, we're working on Damien. Whoa, is that what politics is? Feeding people up and putting their stuff in a big pile? I guess so. I didn't know I was already so good at politics. <laughs> well, I'm surprised you are. And then I can roll around in the food pile. It'll feel so good on my non-skin. Hey, Polly, I kind of, I'm still kind of worried about you. Dania spends the rest of the lunch piling up everybody's food in an enormous food mountain. Hungry students are soon swarming the mountain, trying to grab what they can while Damien helps them with fire and knives from above. Damien's <laughs> kind of reckless there. In a panic, the students turn on each other, fighting with the only weapon they have, the food in their hands. Whoa! Okay. Haha, <laughs> food fight, food fight. I think a fight like this is how I died. So well, that's kind of sad that you died that way, Holly. The casualties are beyond counting, but no one will be forgetting that food fight anytime soon. Are you even alive? That's kind of scary when they say the casualties. Wow. That was interesting. Way interesting, guys. Alright, week two of the evening. <laughs> let's go! Um, we've been outdoors, but let's go to... Let's go to the library, let's see what... Mm, or should we go back to outdoors? I'm trying to get to where Damien might be, guys. Where could Damien be? Let's go back to the outdoors. That day during these sessions, you start a half hour race that goes fully crazy. Just casually chatting with Gawanda, small magical Latino cat. Start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. One time, Monster Camp? <laughs> you know which one? The one involving the beehive, the boa soul of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the goblin king? Dang, what kind of camp did you go to? I mean, it's Monster Camp, but dang, what kind of camp is that? Slowly, so lots of people started joining you to hear the story. By the time you say, where the Goblin King was, 100 people were so burst into hysterical laughter. I'm glad I can make people laugh. I like making people laugh. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and, and turns it into plus two fun. Yay! I'm so smart and have boldness and fun is so high. You're reminding your own business when Damien comes rushing through punching everyone who's minding their own business. <laughs> I don't care if you're minding your own business, I'm still gonna punch you no matter what. Fuck, I'm so, fuck, I'm so angry. Why are you angry, honey? Why? What's up? I'm so angry, I want to pull my own skull out and eat it. Okay, let's not get too dramatic there, dude. That's a little, little too low over the board. I'm so angry, I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in its fucking face. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Damien. Calm down, honey. What do you need to talk about? I'm so angry. I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I could become president and then use my nuclear toes to blow up the sun. I like these random angry whatever you call them. And you, you're standing in my way. Move before I punch you so hard you'll remember with melancholy the times when you could move without all of your bones hurting. Damn, dude, calm the ass down. Oh no, violence is incoming. Think fast. Joke's on you, pal. I'm a pragmatist. I avoid any kind of idealization of the past because it has no use. And therefore, I refuse feeling any kind of melancholy. No time to think of anything clever. Start dancing for no reason. Ooh, pragmatist burn. Violence always loses against well constructed. What? World views based on strong branches of philosophy. philosophy. Oh, hi. What? Yeah, that ma magnetism burn. <laughs> I don't know what that you say. Grr. 
So, soon all your classmates are cheering you on and praising your pro prowess in rational thinking and verbal wit. This is idiotic. Move or I will kill you dead. But a cheery mob has raised you onto their shoulders while chanting pragmatis. I think that's how you say it. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry. You technically have moved, so Damien has no point in per persisting with his threat. Still from afar, you can see an internal fire burning in the back of his eyes. But for now, you gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Yay! We're going there, guys. Let me get there. Oh, week three of the morning. <laughs> let's go. Um, let's go. Let's go to the library. Congratulations, you have been chosen. Win big. That day, you spent time on the library PC, sending malicious spam, e spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. <laughs> Damn, I'm a scammer. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame it if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose minus 10 card, which is, isn't the stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain plus two money. <laughs> the card went down, but I eh, gained two money. Despite everything else happening around you, you're just solving some Sudoku's, but you mind constantly going back to Damien. Yes, he does. He's so funny. Stupid sexy Damien and his idiotic short temper. <laughs> That's how I would actually act. I'd be like, you are stupid sexy person. I hate you, but I love you. <laughs> you think he could even be your sweetheart, but he seems more focused on being angry 24-7. For God's sake, he's kind of, he's the kind of guy that could get angry at a banana. Just because it's a weird shape. As a matter of fact, your daydreaming is interrupted by the feral screams of Damien, who seems to be insulting an actual banana. That's too funny. You stupid yellow fruit, what's your deal to you? You think you're Richard and Passium than me? <laughs> oh my god, guys, this game is too funny. No one is richer than Potassium than Damien fucking Levy! Damn, dude! <laughs> is he even for real? <laughs> right? Is he for real? It's like, what's your deal, honey? Stupid sexy Damien! <laughs> it's like I pissed out of him like, oh, you're stupid sexy Damien! <laughs> no, you need to put a stop to this nonsense before it escalates somehow into arson. Defend the banana's honor, eat the banana. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the banana. <laughs> you get closer to Damien in a very cool and quiet way. Huh? Why do you why don't you mind your own business, me? But you don't mind your own business. You eat the banana instead. <laughs> yes, I love bananas, guys. So I will eat a banana. <laughs> what? Gah! Oh look, at Damien, he's losing his shit again, <laughs> as always. Yeah, he was bullying that banana, but it seems he's all bark and no bite. Not like Vicky, huh? And gee, Vicky seems to be all bite for sure. Kinda sexy. Uh, honey, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not hitting on you, I'm hitting on Damien. The sexy idiot over there. <laughs> it's all alluring. Being all bite, not the bullying. Bullying is never learning nor sexy. Well, I'm sorry for you too over there, Mr. I have forgot your name already. True that, unless you're bullying a banana. I mean, who cares? That's just stupid. Damien is stupid. Hashtag winners don't bully bananas. They eat, just eat them. I'm a hashtag now, guys. Hashtag Damien is a stupid banana bully. I'm so worried about the generation of monsters. Ugh, not again! This is it! This is the last time you dare fuck these bastards! <laughs> Damn, dude, let's get all hot and bothered over there. On prom night, we're going to share a very special dance. Spoiler alert, it will hurt. Hmm, bring it on, dude, I can handle that. Ooh, that's a prom fight on prom night. Damien versus Vicky, instant classic. Interesting, I might attend. <laughs> Just to see a fight. Damn right, you are all tickets to watch how I reduce Vicky's bones into a sad, shapeless hole. Oh. 
pretty exciting. Yes! Free tickets! Hashtag prom fight on prom night! And so you bled yourself to your own potential death. Nice. At least you get a plus three bonus for doing so of your own violation. Hey, I, I'll take his, I'll take up on his so-called scariness so he's not that scary. No, let's go lunch. I want to sit there for some more opinion. <laughs> let's go. All right, guys. We're going back to... Baby is fatal. We're working on it. Alright guys. What are you doing? You mess with me and then you try to sit at my table? Uh, yes, I'm going that way. Go away and get ready to die. Okay. You just eat in the corner in silence. But will you die soon? Who knows? Meanwhile, nothing else happens. And if you think this is unfair, next time don't try to sit at the table of a person who has expressed the desire to murder you. I don't care. I will sit where I want. Totally not a smart move. Well, F you guys. I don't care. Well, let's go, guys. Let's get this going. I want to see this. Um. I'll go to the bathroom. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you expect no authority. I guess some people just want to... Oh, she's actually a basic guy. I didn't realize that. <laughs> just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathroom. You give plus zero shits, but you gain feebleness. <laughs> Scott and Vera shoulder each other out of the way to try again to get to you first. Hey, I heard Damien talking about how he's going to beat you up at prom. <laughs> yeah, mess him up. What? Hey, I don't believe in gratuitous violence unless I'm a werewolf, in which case, one time I ate a kindergartner. Ooh, poor kindergartner. Like, oh goodness. You're right, Scott. I should have looked into this upcoming cart, carnage, and think of a way of monetizing it. Of course, Vera, you're earning your money. I heard Polly saying Jamie was giving away free tickets to watch him skinny him skinning Vicky alive. Such a lack of business perspective is just encouraging. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That's not nice. Why haven't I received free tickets? Maybe that not so nice part is the part about you being skinned alive. <laughs> anyway, Vicky, what are you going what are you doing about this? Might I interest you in some Overland life insurance? This might be a good time to get a policy. Excuse me, policy. Yeah, Vicky, what are you going to do about this? Won't you give us free tickets to watch Damien skin you alive? Don't be rude, bro. Wow. That's a good question. What are you doing about this? Seems like you're pretty screwed. But maybe if you play your cards right, you can convince one of those two to teach you how to fight. Here's what I'm going to do. Vera, I'm going to give you a hundred bucks and you're going to teach me your secret overlay combat skill. I don't know, probably die of some big strong, good at sports man decides to teach me how to fight, but where would I ever fight such a man? Mm, I'm gonna go with the big werewolf. I like it better. That's hard to Wait, I'm a big strong, good at sports man? See? <laughs> so stupid, but it's so cute. Okay, here's what you do. You do. When Damien comes at you, just turn into a dire wolf and bite his face off. Great, if I was actually a werewolf, that would work. But I'm not. It's not to take gratuitous violence if it's a self defense gratuitous you're to get violence. Or full moon induced gratuitous violence. Oh, wait, you can't turn into a wolf, right? That's like a werewolf thing. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, have you heard of punching? Well, let me explain to you about how it works. I think I kind of know what punching is, but obviously I'm going to get choked. After that, you have a very cool training montage, which you punch lots of lots of things. You start by punching a punching bag, but later you punch several trees. You see, oh, that's why I'm a big of a montage. <laughs> Close to the end, you punch a whole tank, and you even punch your various fears and weaknesses in the face. 
Now you feel ready to face stupid, sexy Damien in the prom fight on prom night. It will be bloody. You gain plus two bonus and plus one fun. Why are they getting sexy and I'm like gonna get killed by him? a sexy? No, he is sexy, so I'll get killed by him. Let's go, guys. The monster prom, whatever. I just saw that. Who are you at the prom? Uh, Damien, of course. I don't Hey, noob. I don't give to you. He's not gonna like In your cockiest voice, you remind Damien the two of you have a date on prom night. <laughs> You have a date, honey, so... Sorry. Yeah, fucker, it's a date! Prom night arrives and you, your ball is even scheduled in the official prom... Prom... Yeah, game from time today. A crowd is ready and waiting for you for your fight. Hey! Hi, Diane. What's up, honey? And damn, do you start fighting. All the advice proves useful. You... Put up a hell of a good fight. Punch every punch after punch. You start to see the thrill of Damien's eyes. He seems almost ecstatic to have found a worthy adversary. Oh yes, I am that tough person. I will fight until I die. Pretty much. Yeah. Deep down inside, you know violence is never the answer. Yet all the sweet and blood and physical contact is driving you crazy. This oh, is probably turn you crazy too. Then, in the middle of the, the intense tango of violence, you start making out. <laughs> I start making out. Apparently, a good being was the ultimate turn on for Damien. How is that everything is ultimately about sex when it comes to young people? <laughs> yes, that would probably be what I would do too. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> people start leaving because apparently witnessing free violence is okay, but witnessing a very intense and physical demonstration of love is somehow wrong. So, you take your prom fight to the bathrooms. Yes! It turns out that somehow the sex is even more violent than the fight. Some of your ribs end up broken, but damn, was it worth it. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that ending. So I guess this is my score. I guess I'm, I'm assuming this is going to keep track of my other games. Oh, I'd be most likely to be tasty if eaten by other people. That's one way to put yourself in a yearbook. Damien's quote, I left like 20 corpses straight under the football field. Suckers. <laughs> That's kind of disgusting, but okay. Possibly they'll be all zombies or vampires. Who knows? But I got one of the Indies and eight of three events and outcomes. So I'm hoping this will actually will keep going with my progress. Hopefully it, you know, keeps an eye on what I do. So I don't know. But yeah guys, that was Monster Prom. That was kind of an interesting uh dating, whatever you want to call it, little thing. But so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, but yeah, I kind of enjoyed it, it was kind of fun, and it kind of got a little hot and steamy there too, obviously, um, but also it was very eye-opening on some of the stuff that they, they put in this game, I mean, let you know guys, it's not safe for children, so I, I suggest this is going to be a disclaimer video on that, but, um, so just let me know down in the comments what you think of this game. Um, let me know if I if you want me to play more. But so yeah. So anyways, guys, hope you like it, like this video. So please like and share this video, and please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell down below to know when I post. I post at least once a week, and maybe more if I feel really up to it. So I'll and just also just remember you guys are all a book, and it's still being written. So. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!